beware of energy vampires. 10 ways to spot them. You may have a coworker that seems to always carry a cloud above their heads. They walk in, interact with you, and suddenly your energy is drained. Did you know that people like these are called energy vampires? This refers to people who intentionally or unintentionally drain your emotional energy. They do this by making use of your care and love for them, making you listen to them every chance they get, dumping their problems on you, and leaving you extremely tired and overwhelmed. Whether you like it or not, energy vampires are prevalent. They can even be one of your close friends, partner, or classmate. If you just let them feed off of your energy, you will eventually feel like you're stuck dry of all the empathy you have. That's why in today's Bright Light video, we will help you learn how to detect energy vampires through these signs you should watch out for. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can join a community where learning about psychology is welcomed and encouraged. You can also click the notification bell so that we can notify you whenever we post new videos online. Now that we've got that covered, let's get straight to the video. In order to avoid getting used and abused by energy vampires, we must know how to detect them. In this way, we can create better ways to respond to their toxic behaviors without wasting our energy that much. By doing so, we can protect ourselves from the possible emotional and physical distress they may bring. We can identify energy vampires through the way they act. Here are some of the things they do. Number one, they avoid taking accountability. Whenever issues arise, the normal reaction would be to look for the cause and apologize if you have caused it. Along with the apology comes changed behaviors too. However, this is not the case for energy vampires. They avoid taking accountability at all costs. If an issue involving them arises, they do their best to avoid taking accountability. At first, at first, they will try to move out of it through their charisma. They use their charm so they can be excused for their problematic actions. Aside from that, they may even try to alter things just so that they could point their fingers to somebody else. Energy vampires will blame everyone except themselves. In the context of disagreements, they will also not accept any liability. Instead, they will put more guilt on you. For instance, you open up to them about how frustrated you are because they trauma dump on you. Instead of saying sorry and changing their behavior, they will even change the narrative by saying that you got angry without explaining what they did. Number two, they are drama magnets. You'll know that a person is an energy vampire if they get involved in many issues at all times. Somehow, they are always in the middle of dramas because of their emotional and dramatic behavior. Then, when they have already reached you, they will try to open these issues to you. Their usual lines can be, everyone gets mad at me, they find fault in everything I do. Remember that they are doing this to make you believe that they are the victims. In this way, they can get you to absorb the negativity, try to fix it, and be on their side. Number three, they always one-up you. An energy vampire dislikes being outdone and is unwilling to share the limelight. This is one of the severe narcissistic characteristics they have. They find it difficult to experience genuine joy for another individual. They would rather draw energy to meet their emotional needs. For example, if you bring up an achievement or a milestone, they will always find a way to make it appear like they are still ahead of you. Even when you aren't in competition with them, they will make you feel like you are still miles away from what they have achieved. Their congratulatory statements feel insincere most of the time. Number four, it's always about themselves. The main element energy vampires feed on is your emotional energy. Whenever you face problems or whenever you do not feel emotionally well, your energy supply will also go down. Energy vampires do not like seeing your energy draining, but not on them. So they will try to shift the attention on them instead of you. For example, if you open up about hating your job because it exhausts you, they may say statements like, at least it pays well. Unlike my job that doesn't, you have to really help me find a better job. See, the problem was supposed to be your exhausting job, but somehow they were able to turn the attention onto their job that doesn't pay well. Instead of having someone to listen to you, you now have to solve their problem too. Number five, they act like a martyr. Energy vampires throw their troubles fully on the shoulders of others. 
They accept no responsibility for their contributions to their troubles. They want emotional support to increase their self-esteem. They may even remark something like, he's always so ridiculous. I do my best, but it's never enough. Number six, they use your good nature to their advantage. People who are sensitive and empathetic are good candidates for energy vampires. You provide a listening ear, a compassionate heart, and boundless enthusiasm. Energy vampires utilize your entire nature against you in this way, draining you of vitality. For example, they dominate your attention at every social gathering in order to obtain as much of your energy as possible. They know you'll feel bad if you say no to coffee or a dinner date, so they ask frequently. Number seven, they manipulate and guilt trip you. If they want to get something from you, energy vampires will rely on guilt tripping you. One thing about energy vampires is they know how to use your emotions against you. They have that deep understanding that shame can be used greatly against people who are compassionate and caring. They will make you pity them so you fall into guilt. Then they give you an ultimatum. By doing this, they can successfully get your attention and make you do something they want you to do. Some of the common lines you hear can be, I cannot do this without you, or if you really love me, you should do this for me. Number eight, they are codependent. Every action in a codependent relationship is planned to elicit a specific response from the other person. Energy vampires rarely realize they are caught in a terrible loop of conduct. They make use of these relationships, which are frequently romantic ones, to keep the wheel of drama and emotional need turning. They frequently ignore you or treat you silently as a common example of this, causing you to return to them writhing in need of attention. Number nine, they criticize or bully. One defining trait of an energy vampire is their insecurity. This is why they feed on other people's energy. It's also important to know that energy vampires often prey on people who they can manipulate and trigger to become insecure too. Hence, the criticisms and bullying they may give you. Energy vampires are good at making you feel like you are lesser or you do not deserve things. In this way, it will be easy for them to make you believe that you owe them your attention or you need to be of help to them at all times. They may even say words like, I was too stupid to expect better from you. Everyone else treats me like garbage, so why not you? Or they can claim to have foreseen your issues or flaws already, but still accepted you so that you feel indebted to them. Number 10, they intimidate you. Aside from making you insecure by criticizing or bullying you, they also manipulate you through intimidation. This is their way to stir up emotional responses from you so that they can get what they want. Just like what was said earlier, energy vampires understand emotions so well. They know that if they intimidate you, you will fear them. Since fear is a strong emotional reaction, it boosts their ego. That ends our video for today. We hope you have learned a thing or two. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts, suggestions, and reactions. If you want similar videos, do not forget to subscribe to us and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. Until next time, bye.